Well, how does everything look? Uh, things are running smoothly. We still have a little more testing to do before we can... <sighs> we can't waste any more time. Results are back. We're ready to move on to experimentation. Mmm, good. Where are the test subjects? In the room next door. Bring them out. We'll watch the experiment take place from here. Okay. We can't let him do this, Dylan. I... It is what it is. Don't give me that look. This is for the greater good of our world. That doesn't mean we have to test it on our children! What if something happens to them? Nothing bad will happen to our children. I will make sure of it. This will only take a few minutes, sweetheart. Will it hurt? I... Uh... It will be a small pinch. Just like taking a flu shot. But I don't like taking my flu shot. Don't worry, Owen. I'm getting one too. And so are Noah and Harper. <laughs> really? Yeah, we can be brave together. Thank you, Jackson. We will be waiting in the other room. When you hear your name, open the door and walk in, but only one at a time, okay? Uh, okay. I love you, son. Maria, it's time we go now. R right. We will be back in a bit. Is mommy here? Uh, n no, she couldn't make it. We will see her after you get your shot, okay? Okay, Dad. That's my boy. Now pay attention, everyone. Remember, when we call your name, open this door and walk through, okay? Got it, Mr. Noah's dad. Good. Good. Why are we even doing this? There's nothing wrong with our children. This shouldn't happen, Dylan. If it works, and it will, our children will not have to fear any type of illness ever again. They'd never have to take a flu shot again. We should go. They won't wait much longer. Yes, let's go. Ah, huh. are we ready to begin? Everything is going smoothly so far. I believe the elixir is at peak stability as we speak. Very good. <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? Give me the command, Mr. Davis. 
Uh. <clears throat> okay, let's start with Jackson Thompson. Hi, Mom. H Hi, sweetie. Okay, Jackson. Just stay still as the science, I mean doctors here, give you your shot. Okay, Jackson, you're all done. Please go back into the room. Your mother will be waiting there for you. Okay. <clears throat> Harper Rivera, you can come out now. You got this, baby. Dylan! Mr. Davis, is everything okay? Ugh, I, I'm just feeling a bit uneasy. Someone go get him a glass of water! I guess I must continue this. Uh, sorry, there was a problem with one of our people. We may continue with... Uh, Owen Robinson. It's okay, baby. It'll be over soon. It... is it done? Yes, Mr. Robinson, you are done. Please exit the room and bring out Mr. Noah Davis. Please stand in the center, Noah. D Dad! And that is how our story began. My name is Noah Davis. I'm a junior at Eastwood High. For the two years I've been here, I've only been hanging out with the same friends I've had since childhood. I've never really been interested in other people. <laughs> oh shoot. Sorry there, kid. Who? Oh, Rick, did you get pushed too? I swear this kid just knocked into me. What? No! You knocked into me! Did you push me, Noah? No, I swear. Lawrence knocked into me, knocking me into you! I would never do that. You 
trying to start something here, Noah? What? No! Keep it moving, Noah. Hey, Rick. Lawrence. Good morning. We're just gonna get going now. Who? Don't think you two can get out of this so fast. And you, stop getting in my way. Hey, man, listen. Let's not do anything rash here. Lawrence, hold him. You're not getting out of this one, little buddy. Hey, let go of him. You want a piece of this too, Noah? Don't worry, Noah. I got this under control. <laughs> sure you do. Oi! Boys! Get your hands off each other! Shit. Keep it moving! Now! Thank you, Miss Rivera, for bringing this to my attention before things got messy. Mm hmm. Snitch. <sighs> hey, Harper. Good thinking with getting the principal. You're always one step ahead. No problem. Ah, uh, don't listen to what they say to you, Harper. We're better than them. Say. Anyone see no one yet? I just got here, Broski. I believe he's going to get extra help in pre-calc. Jesus, that kid is always studying. He needs to get a break once in a while. Well, at least he's trying to get into a good college. I'm good in school. I just don't try. That's the point, Jackson. If you actually did try, you'd do so much better. I just don't think books are for me, you know? Would rather do something with my hands. School's not for everyone. I want to be a mechanical engineer anyway. You do realize that you need to know science and math for that. Ah, my greatest enemies. Aren't you in honors trig in physics? Even if I am in honors, I still hate the subjects. Oh, shoot! That's first bell. Let's get to homeroom. So glad we all have the same homeroom this year. I wonder if Sarah brought us some of those mini bagels from Duncan. Ah, Harper, Jackson, Noah, welcome back. How was your three-day weekend? It was great, Mr. Rune. How was yours? Ah, same as usual. Had some family over for a small barbecue yesterday. Nothing much. Sounded fun. Oh, excuse us, Mr. Rune, but I have to talk to Owen about something. Noah? Hmm? I read your paper over the weekend. I didn't know your mother had passed away. I'm really sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a little bit ago, so... If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Your paper was very well written. I look forward to reading more of your papers in the future. <laughs> Thanks. Psst. Owen. <sighs> what, Jackson? Where were you this morning? I 
needed some extra help in pre-cal. I ran into Harper this morning and told her. Now, if you don't mind, I am trying to study for a test I have today. Nah, you're no fun. Oh, Sarah did get Duncan. I'll be right back. Please, please, please have mini bagel bites. <sighs> that kid. <laughs> He's such a clown. Hey, how was your weekend, Owen? We didn't see you at all. Mm, it was good. Come on, Owen. You can put the book down for one minute and talk to us. We don't have Mr. Menendez till after lunch. You can study then. You don't really talk to us anyway. Ugh, fine. My weekend was... eventful. Well, what did you do? Let me guess. You started working on your history project? With Mr. Matthews? Isn't that due by the end of next month? Hey! Getting a head start never hurt anyone. Did you even step outside at all this weekend? I did! Okay, and where did you go? I... I went grocery shopping with my mom. Oh, <sighs> and let me guess. You sat in the car and then got out to help her load it in the car. What? No, I... <sighs> yes... You're so predictable, Owen Robinson. Come on, man. You're going out with us tonight. It's Friday, after all. In fact, you are going to hang with us all weekend. But... No buts! You're going, and that's final. <sighs> Fine. Oh... What's wrong with him? Sarah didn't have any mini bagel bites. Aw, uh, that's a shame. Stop being sarcastic, Harper. Watch this. <clears throat> hey, Harper. Uh, hi? There's no way they're gonna say yes. I'm throwing a party Saturday night at my place. Would you be interested in going? Uh... Can these guys come with me? Your boy toys. G Ow. I mean, I guess so. The party starts at 8, ends around 11. I'll have to see if it's okay with my parents first. Yeah, no problem. Just text me your answer, okay? Harbor, are you crazy? What? A party? You never go to parties! Well, at least we got plans for Saturday now. Yeah. It's about time we interact with some more of our classmates. What? Are you saying we're not good enough for you? What? No, I, I'm just saying. Relax. I'm just busting your chops. It sounds fun. I'm so down. Do you know what goes on at these parties? There's drugs, drinking, and S. E. Owen! Yeah, that's why we're going. Jackson! I'm just kidding. If we see a single alcoholic beverage, we'll leave right away. Promise? Yeah, promise. Well, that's the bell. See you guys at lunch? 
Mm-hmm. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, Noah? Yes? Everything happens for a reason. It'll all work out in the end. Yeah, I know. I was sick of hearing that at this point. Those men in black had a bad vibe. Only later that week would I understand why. Seems like there's a hell of a lot of people going to Tyler's party. Yeah, it's all over social media. It's going to be wild. Ooh, I'm getting so hyped for this. Remember, if anything bad happens in there, we're out. Why do we even hang out with him? Oh, hey, that reminds me. Did any of you guys spot those FBI guys in the hallway this morning? Yeah, I actually did spot a few of them. And even though they were wearing sunglasses indoors, I could feel them, like, staring at me. It felt weird. Yeah, seriously. I wonder what they were here for. Maybe they were invited to Tyler's party too. <laughs> Yeah, imagine. Maybe they found out there will be illegal substances at this party? Oh my god, Owen. Will you stop being such a party pooper? If there's beer there, I'm getting you drunk. Because you need it. No! Don't peer pressure him, Jackson. Well, he needs to learn how to have a little fun. He lives with his head in books. College is more about partying than anything, and we're juniors. Come on now. Don't worry, Owen. I'll protect you from Jackson. Oh, please. What can you possibly... Ow! Yeah, watch it. What's the rush, bud? Pre-cal test. Gotta go! Oh, here, Owen. I'll walk with you. See you guys later. Hey, Jackson, let's head to the library. Get some homework done. All right, sounds good. Subjects one and three are leaving now. Keep an eye on subjects two and four. We will watch these two, over. with him he got a 95 on his pre-calc test now my grade's gonna go from a 99 to a 98 I'll trade you my 86 for your 98 it's a good deal you disgust me oh boy oh Harper Uh, so, 
have you decided if you're going or not? Oh yeah, we're going. Oh, sweet. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are about to get our party on. That's it. Noah? Noah, where are you going? Hey, what's your deal? Pardon? Don't act stupid. I've seen you four throughout the school today, and every time, you made direct eye contact with us. What's your deal? Hey, I'm not done talking with you. You gonna answer me? Let go of me, kid. I'd better not see your faces again. Noah, what was that? It wouldn't say anything. So it wasn't just me who kept seeing agents all day. I thought I was delusional. It would have sounded weird if I brought it up. Everything you say is weird. Let's just go home. It's been a long day for all of us. Agreed. Wanna come to my house to hang? Sounds good to me. Noah, you in? Yeah, let's go. Thank you for speaking with us. What's the report? Uh, they seem to be onto us, sir. Already? On day one? Do forgive me, sir, but I believe it's our appearance. We stand out too much. You're right. That's why you two are fired, as well as the other two agents who are with you. Huh? Uh, uh, uh alright. There's a the door. <sighs> See, this is what you get for minimum wage. Those agents were stupid to go in dressing in their federal attire. Attire. They didn't fit in because they looked too formal. But you, you can blend in with the crowd. You want me to go in and follow subjects one through four? Yes. And when it's the right time, take them and bring them here so we can extract the elixir from them before they figure out what they're capable of. They do not deserve the gifts they were given. I'll do my best. Yes. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> 